Hey folks, how are we doing? So as you see, I have a lot now. I did something else today, I mean, last couple days. Uh, instead of trying to, you know, have a couple and finish them in one day or two days, uh, I did uh, eight knives in the spread of last couple days. Little by little, always, not little by little, I work hard this last couple days. But I just wanted to get it done and see if it's more, more time efficient. Uh, it is a little bit. I was able, in about the same time, I was able to do some little extras on them. So in that sense, I, it, was, it was a little more time efficient because otherwise they would be more plain in the same kind of time frame. So definitely it, it, is, it does make more sense to do more, but it's just not as much fun, you know. If you, if you spend so many hours a day, like I do at the shop, and you don't actually finish every, uh, anything that day, it's not that great feeling on the end of the day. Uh, one thing, this, I, I finally got the shipment of the, the goodies, all the goodies I always send with the knives. So again, the compasses will come with it, the little carabiners, just the kitchen carabiners, always make somebody happy. This time I actually tried, uh, I found the cheap, uh, cheap little aluminum whistles. Hey, they work fine and uh, I think they're gonna make somebody happy. They are just complete random colors on those whistles. Carabiners, I think, are always black, yeah, all of them are black. But uh, it's gonna make fun, you know, you know, somebody happy. And if not you, then you know your kids or somebody. Always hand a little rape, <laughs> rape whistle on the keys. And of course they're gonna come with, I still have the fair rod linyards, so they're gonna come with those. And as you see, lot. So what should we start with? Let's start with the kind of normal stuff. What we have here, we have that uh, OD green and sage buoy. I call them buoy, but you know, why would you even bother? saying that it's not a buoy or clip-on or whatever, I call them buoy, it doesn't really matter. So we have the modified T-Rex in the buoy shape, kinda. Uh, Audi, Audi Green and Sage, layer G10, bead blasted, sand blasted, heavily, nice convex grind. All of these are convex grind, very, very lean, so really, really high performance nice, you know, crazy. All of them are way under 10,000 behind the edge, so we have really nice, if you want to use them harder, all it takes is just raise the bevel slightly, make the edge a little thicker, that's all it takes. It's always nice, it's always better really to grind the knives, these types of knives, grind them as thin as possible, and then, uh, or like reasonably possible, not thin as possible, yeah, I can grind them even thinner, but reasonably, you know, this can not easily take whittling wood and all that kind of stuff, even splitting, you know, small stuff for uh, for kindling and stuff like that easily but if you wanna you know chop with it you know unsupported edge phenomenal and all that stuff all it takes is raise the bevel a little bit make it a little stronger and uh, you have a little more sturdier knife uh, started doing still reinforced it but not to such a crazy you know not crazy crazy like a pry bar tip uh, it's cool it looks really cool but honestly the more and more I use it I just like the finer tips better. I mean, it is fine. It's not as fine as I used to do, but it's nowhere near as thick as I used to do. So kind of like finding the right balance between the strength and the pointiness of the tip. And I think something like this is something that I like. It's still a little stronger. It's, it will stay, still take some prying or using the tip into some harsher stuff. But it's still a nice and pointy tip, you can still take out the splinter and all that stuff. All of these are stone wash. This time that kind of more traditional stone wash, I don't know if I can show you. And yeah, there you see. It looks more like a stone wash that you see mostly. It's not that very, very long, super, super fine stone wash. It's more of a traditional, nice and clean. A lot of them have like knocked off shoulders on the top, swedges. So you see that, that one has uh, that graphite, or kind of OD greenish shade. All of the shades are takedown shades, so that's another thing, like extra. Next one, orange G10, my traditional handle, but a little more technical. This is Raptor, the regular Raptor. I haven't done this model in forever. I used to do, I did a lot of the tough nose Raptors. I didn't do the regular nice fine and pointy tip in a pretty long time. And I figure I'll do that. So we have pretty cool looking blade there. I like this one. That was the first Raptor version. It was like this. Actually, I think it was actually even or, uh, orange scale. One thing is the handles are a little more technical on this one. Uh, in the sense of that I didn't do everything completely round how I do normally. But I did all my basic shaping 
but then I just knocked off the shoulders on the edges so you still see how it was done all the sh basic basic sh uh, shaping all the you see how it is it's not round but it has actually straight bevel and the bevels are rounded so it's still just as comfortable as all my other handles but it looks a little more technical and especially with the little crater pattern along the ridges which I really like again all the, all the edges are knocked off so it's nothing is sharp everything is nice and round and everything is very comfortable so you see same you know same handle pattern just a little more kind of technical looking I think that's what I call it <laughs> I don't know if, it's, if it fits what I have in mind but I think I think that does it I think that about does it technical gray kydex I always thought that the gray goes well with the orange next one EDC toxic green and black a little bit of uh, jimping I think all of these have a little bit of jimping that's that extra what I've said I did you know some of them have jimping on the front on the top just for a time nice and unobtrusive jimping but I think very functional and a lot of them have also that little indexing jimping up t by the tip for the detail work it's not so much for some kind of special grip there but just indexing you know to know where you where to put a finger and then you know from the habit how far from the tip you are uh, it's called indexing you know little jimping this one has a graphite sheet next one I like a lot G uh, G10 again this is the black and gray gray kydex same thing jimping up front and little indexing jimping up on uh, all the way by the tip and this one is nicely nicely shaped uh, rock pattern I like it a lot logo sits in a little like a little kind of cut out in the scales you see they are different just purposely cut them out and left it all on the on the on this side very comfortable very very comfortable and uh, I like it small little guy it's a little heavier because it has the this way the G10 there's more material actually compared to to my regular you know it's it, my regular handles are a little slimmer on certain areas where this is kind of like full thickness but it's very contoured so it's very very comfortable in the hand that's that next one mini rhino uh, yeah mini rhino black and blue G10 my traditional handle same thing jimping up front for the thumb and then indexing jimping by the front by the tip black kydex on this one next one is OD green and black buoy same thing again jimping up front on the thumb ramp no indexing knocked off shoulders on the on the swedges next one is oh this one I like a lot so you have a modified warning the one with the like slight little curve to the bell belly and slight little curve to the edge which makes slight little belly knocked off corners on the middle curve here focus yep knocked off corners here then actually round that spine by the front pretty tricky and then just again a little more technical my contoured handle but uh, the top is done a little different kind of similar way like the orange one and then I left purposely left some flats on both sides and just fill them up with the with the whole pattern you know creator pattern which I can I like see like those two front kind of go well with the screw and then the bunch of little smaller ones again everything is nicely rounded so nothing is sharp very comfortable this one has a longer handle this is the full-on handle you know and uh, I think it's pretty nice this one has a graphite green Kydex also remove take take down and the last one is probably my favorite you see the combo gray sheet and uh, black and gray handle I like kind of my traditional handle but this is the shorter version it's the same knife but with the short handle the one that I really like for the EDC you have a lot of blade for the overall side the blade is actually longer than the handle and like I've talked about it's very nimble in the hand very pointy very you know very stabby <laughs> nice little swedges on top nice grinds lean and nice handle nicely contoured I like this one a lot uh, very nimble in the hand you know like I said it's almost kind of functions if you need to kind of like a push dagger because that you can get that back of the handle in your in your hand here and you have a lot of reach with this knife Plus it has the more utilitarian Warncliffe style blade when it's slight little curve to it, slight little belly, uh, very good, what is it, negative angle. You see how the knife is positioned in my hand, my hand is like that, the knife is like that, 
very slash capable slash style uh, I do like this one a lot I just love the blade and handle ratio how light it is how much blade you have for the for the for the weight of it and uh, just overall I like this one a lot there all of the fits you know nice good retention stronger retention and uh, easier to you know, just push of a thumb they fly most of them fly off some of them are just nice and easy this one is a little weaker but it's still plenty it has still good retention but it's very easy to remove so these are gonna go to the gear bastion it's gonna take me a while to to put them all up but I guess the since the internet here is so slow it, they will be up probably before the video will be even up so as always guys thank you for all the support hope you enjoyed it uh, and remember don't cut yourself <laughs> take care guys